Hello, hello, my students. How are you today? In this lesson, we're going to be talking about fractions. Yes, of course, because we all see fractions every single day. Have you ever caught a watermelon or any fruit? Have you ever caught a cake? Have you ever ate a cake? I know the answer is yes. So you have been using fractions. But what is a fraction? A fraction is a number that represents part of a whole, like when we cut an apple. What is a unit fraction? A unit fraction represents one equal part of a whole, like each of these little pieces we have in here. When we count them, they represent a fraction. Each of the slices of this pizza represent a unit fraction. These little pieces are unit fractions. Each of these pieces represent a unit fraction. Here we have one whole pizza, which I am going to cut up into smaller pieces. Now, if I cut the pizza right down the middle, I get two equal side pieces. Each piece is one whole pizza divided in two, or one half of the whole. We can write that as a fraction. This number, the denominator, tells us how many pieces make up the whole. The numerator tells us how many pieces we're talking about. So this is one half of the pizza, and these are two halves. Two halves make one whole. Believe it or no, when we celebrate a birthday, we also use fractions. Yes, because we use fractions to cut the cake. Let's say we want to share a cake with three friends, ourselves, and three friends make four, so we have to cut the cake into four pieces. Each of these pieces is one-fourth of the cake, or also known as one quarter. Yes, just like the coin, and it makes sense because 25 cents is one-fourth of a dollar. Basketball games are also divided into four quarters. A quarter pass means 15 minutes after the hour. And four quarts make a gallon. This is one quarter of the cake, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters, all which is the same one whole cake. As you can notice, we have fractures all around us. But how do we write a fraction? Let's remember that the numerator is the number that goes on the top and the denominator is the number that goes at the bottom. The denominator tells me how many parts we have in all, how many parts we have in the whole. And the numerator tells me how many parts we're talking about. Perfect, now we're going to work on some samples. There are how many equal parts in this hole? Three, very good. Now, what number of pieces is shaded? Very good, two. So the fraction is two thirds. Two thirds of the circle is shaded in. Very good, so now let's see this hole. What fraction of the hole is shaded? Let's see. How many pieces I have in all in this hole? Very good, that's eight. How many parts are shaded in? Four. So four eighths of this hole is shaded. Now it's your turn. Very 
very good three fourths of this hole is shaded in very good if it was helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and like the video have fun with math bye